Hello, welcome. Uh, my name is B. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my second video I'm uploading. Um, of course, it's the same day since the last video. It's probably an hour after I had uploaded it. I, I'm not joking. When I, I pretty much told the intention of my last episode, so I'm probably not going to continue. As you can see, my bedroom is, is pretty much crap and very messy, but we're not going to talk about this because that's not the point of my videos. I know I tend to be very messy, but then again, I'm still kind of, well, I've always been that kind of person that when I'm trying to do a project, I'm too busy working on the projects that I forget about everything else in, in the sun. So uh, I will be cleaning it up by a, a couple hours because I will be taking a break from the, the, these videos for a bit today. Um, by the time I make the third video, I'm pretty sure everything will be cleaned up and I will be on the other side of the room on the chair that is being faced in this video right at, at this point. The purse won't be on the floor. The pants won't be on the floor. There will be no plushy care and a messy bed at this point. But yeah, a lot of people might point that out and go, why is this everywhere? And why am I a junkie person? And I completely understand you. I'm a junkie person. I'm honest. I like to be honest a lot. And yes. because I have such a flaw, that's just the way it is. So once in a while, when I, when I, of course, make these videos, you're going to be hearing a lot of stuff in the background. Just ignore them. They're kind of like background noise in this building because this building, I'll be honest with you, isn't just, isn't the best building for. And because of this, I'm kind of stuck with what I can use. I do have another motivation as to why I'm using these videos, but I rather keep them to myself. Um, again, I already told everybody what, I told everybody in the first video what my motive of this video channel was. Anyway, um, it's about 11 o'clock and I'm still in my room as it were. It didn't take too long to upload things. Okay, the last title didn't make much sense because apparently I thought that if you added the wallpaper on the top of the video, it would only show the beat, but... I, it was only the, apparently it was only the thumbnail. And again, I'm telling you, I'm new to all this. So yeah, anyway, I was just thinking about something. Um, when I was talking about my last video, I was explaining about the pyramids and precisely the Pyramid of Giza. And I have something I'm pretty, want, I, I want to like theorize here. So I was told back then as a kid, and I don't know if this is actual fact or not. I might have to re-fact check this that each pyramid was made for only one pharaoh, but it might be a lie and it might not be true. I might've gotten that information from somebody a long time ago that probably didn't know much about Egypt. And because I lived in the Maritimes when I was a kid and that's like across the country in Canada, it's like New Brunswick. And a lot of people at that point are like slow minded. They aren't, um, I'm not trying to say that they're not smart or intelligent. They're the, t I, if I remember correctly, they're the ones who made the chocolate bar. If I don't know if that's true or not, because I know that uh, Switzerland made the chocolate bar, and I know Switzerland made chocolate, so it's kind of weird where I'm getting all this information out of literally nothing. And the the rumors I hear as a kid is just is bizarre. So um, like I hear things even on TikTok that seem to not be fact actually. Like for instance, I'm flipping over on a video on TikTok. They're talking about an earthquake after the solar eclipse yesterday and i'm like awkward and uh it wasn't actually fact information i don't think there really was an earthquake in america yesterday i but then again i haven't really been watching the news or following up on those either so there may have been if somebody wants to comment and ask what if there was be feel free anyway back to what i was talking about with the pyramids so yeah i was thinking in my head at that point that when I was told there was only one pharaoh, I didn't think there could have been more. I've never really been in the pyramid, so I don't know really how it's structured and if there's more like places to put bodies in or mummies. Like I know they make mummies and embalm people and put them in really cool like little caskets that have like really cool designs. And uh, their mechanism of like really embalming people and wrapping them up in like paper is like a fascinating thing. I've It's just fascinating. And um. I never really, I guess I got to look more into it. I was, when I was looking up things at 17 years old, I was morally looking up things like theories. And I'll admit, I'll be really honest with you people. 
I was really bored as a teen and I was really into conspiracy theories. Okay, I know this sounds crazy, but there are some conspiracy theorists that don't believe in like very, very, very far-fetched stuff. Like I'm a, I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I'm not the same as some conspiracy theorists. Now, some of these conspiracy theorists, I'll be honest, kind of ruin our reputation in a way but i'm not trying to say they're wrong because in this world things are not always what they seem so um like their excuses like like avril lavigne is really a rept reptilian and she's not alive and some duplicate took it over which is apparently an, a popular thing i found out on facebook a couple years ago that i was just looking up and finding far that fine i was finding that pretty far-fetched to say but I guess a lot of people had explanations that she may have grown out of that phase in her life. But then I've noticed some people do grow out of an emo phase in their life or grow out of a girly phase. Like when I was young, I was more like, I did have a phase. It was a little different. I was really into anime. I'll admit I was really into Inuyasha. That was like my first series I've ever watched in those videos and the shows I mean. And um, the reason for this is, is because at the time there was internet and computers but we were lacking that as a kid i pretty much went seven years with no um internet or a computer also forgive me again they're really banging things in the other room and um yeah again this is a very noisy building for some really wrong reason i think it's because the walls in here are like paper thin and everyone can hear everybody so yeah i can even hear people at night times upstairs so it's it's going crazy today because i think uh somebody's in here to check something and uh it's it's very loud so um and mostly tuesday up uploads may you may hear more noise and if i'm if i'm uploading stuff at nighttime it's the same damn thing anyway when i mentioned the pyramids and it being one pharaoh i thought about it like why aren't there more than one and i'm thinking what if i'm right there's probably like millions of millions of pharaohs in there like i didn't really get the just or the real answer of what's really in the pyramids but i'm pretty positive that a lot of people are checking the fact that the pyramid is considered a tomb and a tomb like if i identify a tomb it's not a tomb is like a like a little um stone on the top of a grave and again that made me think that's probably only for one person like and then that comes back to the fact that I'm thinking there's only one pharaoh. But again, I could be wrong. Because when I play Ocarina of Time back as a kid, because of course, I will admit, I'm a millennial. I was really, I was cooled out by the royal family tomb. So maybe there is more pharaohs than just one in those pyramids. But then again, see, I wasn't really in school much. Like, didn't think I could amount to anything. So yes, I'm really just, op I'm just really thinking on the top of my head of what I've heard. And I also do take it of a grain of salt. I'm still going to be fact-checking things also as I go. Um, yeah, so um, I was always wondering what the pyramids, why the pyramids were considered tombs in my opinion. Because to me, tombs are like tiny or they are just like a stone that represents a family or whatever's buried there or whatever you wanted to call it. And uh, they're usually in graveyards. And as I look at these pyramids, I'm thinking, well, to be honest, where they are, it doesn't really look like a graveyard. In my opinion, it looks more like three or four things in one area that are gigantically huge and are being misinterpreted as a tomb. They keep saying that Egypt has made the pyramids, but I heard in a couple documentaries as a kid, and I kind of hold truth a little bit, but I don't, oh, I'm kind of skeptic just a little bit. And I'm taking it with a grain of salt that the pyramids were not really made by Egyptians. But I then again, I have other people arguing that it's possible they did and that we don't know much about Egyptians. And to this day, I don't really, again, I never really looked at much of the other part of Egypt, but the Giza, and I was wondering in my head, what was i don't know how they they operate in the modern times today um i have i do remember that a couple of things i'm gonna check in the next video is uh what i think about tombs and the pyramid itself but i guess i'm gonna have to end this video because as soon as it hits a couple more seconds i'm probably gonna be out of time and i need to upload it and re-continue on the next video so if you want, like, or stay tuned.